my name is Kyla Bologna and welcome, if you are new with us, welcome back, if you've been here before. Today, I am so excited. We are on another four hour long trip. This is closer to five hours, actually. But um, today, we are driving to Darien Lake, New York. There is a Six Flags out there that I've never been to and I've always wanted to go to. So that's where we're headed today. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, it takes four hours and 39 minutes to get there at, as of this moment. Um, so really exciting. We'll get there about 9.59 as of right now. Park opens at 11. So we're kind of just chilling. I figured again, kind of like my Jersey trip, this would be like a part one and a part two. So I figured part one is like driving. I really like to watch like people drive and I know a lot of people do. And then I figured part two would be kind of like the park because I know sometimes that's like a separate audience like I was saying last time, but I figured you guys would enjoy this. Um, I've never been out here. I've never been, I've never been this deep into New York. I don't ever think. Um, and then I've never been to this Six Flags. My parents refused to go to this one because somebody died. But somebody died on this at this Six Flags the same way that somebody died at my Six Flags. It was with the same coaster. So, which was like a... Um, yeah. Wow, really? I definitely thought I was getting pulled over. I was definitely cruising 50 in a 35. Which is not good, please don't speed, but it wasn't me, I'm very proud. Um, but yeah, so like there was like a restraint issue at this ride, I can't, the stories between both parks are very, very similar, um, but basically they've changed the restraints since then, and there's been no other incidents, I believe, since 2005, so we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> But my parents would never let me go to this park. They'd be like, no. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's also a water park, according to the map. <clears throat> I try not to look at any pictures of the park because I'm like, if we're gonna do it, and I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, let's just do it. Because that just feels so exciting. Um, from the store, hold on, I have to turn. Ooh, I've never been this way before either, so I'm really excited. Turtles crossing, that's such a cute sign. Um, I got a parfait that I already ate with strawberry, it was really good. And then I got a yerba mate in like berry. Um, I only drink yerba mates every once in a while, because as you guys know, I don't drink energy drinks anymore. And it's, and that's kind of like, kind of like nicotine. Or it's like, it's just an addiction. And it's like a struggle for that. Um, I also got a banana. And then I have my water. And, uh, yeah. I'm wicked excited. I'm so excited. This is gonna be the best day ever. Yeah, but I try not to look at pictures because I'm like, I really want to be surprised. I live in such a beautiful area. Like, I live in such a pretty place. So it's all of these houses right here, you probably can't see them, but they're like right off the lake, the main lake around where I live. Look at those mountains. Yeah, we can. We have such a long road ahead of us. I am gonna listen to some music for a little bit. I will see you guys on the road. I did just wanna say that we are officially in New York. Where I live is about 20 minutes from the border of New York. So we're in New York. Now we have like a four hour and 15 minute drive. So I'm really excited. I've literally never been this deep into New York. Um, like we've, I visited like Albany a ton, which is like an hour out. Um, but I think that's honestly some of the deepest, like New York City. Um, I've like seen signage for Buffalo, but I've never like driven out there, but like I've always wanted to go. My, my dad's a huge Bills fan, so like I was born and raised a Bills fan, like, so I like, I want to go to Buffalo at some point, but I'm just like really excited, because I've never been this deep. 
and like we are gonna have such an amazing day we're gonna have such a blast honestly this drive so far is so nice i've just taken back roads and it's been like oh, the most scenic thing in the world like it's just really pretty out here how do i do that you know just gorgeous uh today is gonna be a beautiful day the weather said it's supposed to be cloudy and like a max of 68 but I think it's going to be really nice and I think it's going to be really sunny. And maybe that's just my manifestation of it. Um, I did open my yerba and I've been, I've been sipping on it. Um, the last couple days, my alarms have literally not gone off. Like, it's almost like my phone acts like they don't exist. And they just don't get off, go off. Which is, like, so stressful. And, like, my phone's been broken for a while, so I think a sign to go get a new phone eventually so eventually we'll go do that yeah so I set an alarm for 4 a.m. this morning it never went off so I woke up and Kenneth, Kenneth loves to like do this thing where he'll just like scream at me and usually it's because he's hungry but he was doing it this morning and then I went and looked at my phone and my alarm was fake going off and it was 4.50 so He's, he's always good on time. He's always like, okay, come on, wake up, it's time. And it's always perfect. I did this like huge Michaela event for Ulta Beauty um, pretty recently, where like I worked her event, and I was supposed to wake up again at 4 a.m. And we, I was supposed to leave my house by like six. Guess what time I woke up? Guess, 6 a.m. So I packed my bag with all my makeup, and I threw it in there and I left. And I did my makeup in my boss's car and honestly it came out pretty good for a car makeup. I was impressed. <sighs> but <clears throat> we've been, I've been having a lot of fun lately. And I think that's really important and I think that's kind of what I need right now. Is like I'm finding that balance between like working and getting shit done. And like having a lot of fun. Because there's like, it's all about balance. And I'm really proud of that, and that says a lot, you know? Four hours to go. Four hours to go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just pull up. I like all the little things. I'm like, I want to see what, like, driving through the parking lot looks like. I want to see what the front gate looks like. Like, I'm just, I'm so excited. I don't know what... I have such a little hyper fixation on Six Flags. Just, just warning in case you guys didn't realize. And um, I don't know what it is, but I've been going to Six Flags since the time that I was very, very little. And I've always just loved it. I guess there's people who like think about Disney and why they like Disney. And I guess I'm kind of like that for Six Flags. And like I also just like love the roller coaster aspect. It's always just like made a difference. Like it's always just like you walk in and like you just you just know you're gonna have such a good time. And I really admire that. They've, they've really curated something. And I feel like like especially in my park, so New England, which is like my home park, it's like home base. My like park is that like I don't know, over the last couple of years they've kind of lost the spark. Like nobody says fun anymore. But like, that's kind of all about who you employ, the standards you set, you know. As an individual boss, you do kind of have to set those standards. Um, but like I went to Jersey this year and they're same energy as always. And like that was really nice. And like I uh, said in the previous video, I did go to um, Six Flags Great Adventure already, but I did not vlog it. I went for one singular ride. I went and drove two hours to drive to ride the Bobcat. And I didn't film it. <laughs> so I was like, I just can't wait. And I was so tired. It was literally when I just got home from Jersey. I was like, I'm so exhausted. The Bobcat. It was really funny. It was a really great coaster. I thought it was really cute. It is very family friendly. 
which I do think for that park and for that demographic is appropriate. Like they have the Comet, which is uh, such a beautiful, beautiful ride. Like I want a classic wooden coaster like that. But the likelihood of getting something like that isn't too high. Although hopefully, now that that ride is out, the Bobcat, that that will create some demand for more wooden coasters. That Bobcat is the first wooden coaster to be created in I think like 30 to, f since the 90s, I believe, 80s maybe. But it's been a long time since we've had any kind of wooden coaster in the industry. And honestly, wooden coasters are my personal favorite. Like, we have Wicked Cyclone now at Six Flags New England. But, like, I remember when I was little and it was the Cyclone. And it was this wooden coaster. Oh, and you used to, used to go down a part of the hill and the whole thing would shake. Oh. I'm like, I guess that's where my adrenaline sparks from. There never used to be a line and you used to walk through the queue. And it used to have the signs. So, there's seven major wooden coasters around the U.S. that are from Six Flags. And it would have like the pictures and the names and all of the stats and everything to know about. The, ah, I just, I love that. I love the information as well. I really do. Like I like what Six Flags Great Adventure did this year where they had the timeline of like everything from the time that they've opened to now. And like, I just really like that stuff because unfortunately like the history of a lot of these parks isn't talked about anymore. Like not like at the park, you know, like, like people on YouTube are always talking about the information of these parks, but in day to day, it's not really used anymore, which is interesting. We just officially had our first bathroom break of the trip. I just stopped at a Stewart's. I love a Stewart's. I've been to this one before, and I don't remember why I've been down here. I think it's the same way to like uh, Six Flags Great Escape for this part. So I think that's why I've been here before, but I'm like, I know this place. Uh, and I don't know why I'm in that little skirt I have with the shorts underneath that's like pleated and this like cute crop top with a little star on it. And everybody loves this outfit. Everybody, I saw my neighbor this morning when I was walking in the car and she was like, wow, you're up early. And I was like, I know. I was like, I'm never up this early. I was like, I'm going to Darien Lake for the day. She was like, oh, well have fun. You look so cute. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Megan. That's so sweet. I love her. She's such a sweetheart. I have really great neighbors. And honestly, I have a really nice landlord too, which I know is so rare. It's so rare. And like, I am so grateful. <sighs> and there's a donks right here. Okay. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have such a fun day today. It's gonna be such a blast. Also, the sun's like starting to come up and it's, it's beautiful now. It's officially 6 a.m. So, yay! <laughs> and we're at three hours and 55 minutes. So, we're officially at kind of the three hour mark. So, that's exciting. We are pretty much just going through the city right now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But, um, Albany is like right here. She looks gorgeous. I really like Albany. Um, I think it's really gorgeous. I fucking hate I don't hate it, but the driving here is very, like disorienting like if you don't know what you're doing you're screwed it's just a lot it's just like a lot of like this connects to this and this connects to that but i really like if you guys live around albany go to the museum it's free to go there it's free to park there and like it's just really cool and they have like a they also have like a 9-11 exhibit which is really crazy and like there's like this train you can get on. It's really cool. You should go if you've never been. It's fun. I love a good museum. I love a good museum. I love a good experience. Honestly. Like that's I'll do I'll do an experience once. Like there's this place called How Caverns near me. And it's like this like ca underground cavern. And like I went once when I was in fifth grade. 
was our field trip for the end of the year. And I remember loving it. And I really want to go again. It's something like that that I don't like to do alone. Like to be in a cavern alone with a bunch of strangers. No. I just want, I just need one friend to go with, you know? But, um, most things like Six Flags, I'm like, I will go alone all day long. Also, like, a lot of my friends are like, oh, can I come with you? And I'm like, absolutely. But, like, I also, A, I've never been to, like, a Six Flags with other people, not in a very, very long time. Like, not since, like, maybe three, four years ago. Um, fun fact, uh, my first date, when I was in middle school, I brought him to Six Flags with me. That's the kind of girl I am. Um, but I haven't been to Six Flags with people in like a hot minute, like with people I know. And then also it's like, I don't know anybody with a season pass. And I feel really bad being like, yeah, let's go to Six Flags. You have to pay like $50 to get in. I don't. You know? So it's like a guilt thing for me. You know? I struggle. But I'm, I'm, this is going to be so exciting. We're already three hours and 43 minutes away. Like, I feel like time is just flying by. It's so gorgeous out right now. Yeah, I took off my sweatshirt. It's getting nice and warm. It's currently 69 degrees outside, according to my car. So, it's warmer than the weather was predicting as of this point. I said it's only going to be a high of 68. But I'm really hoping it's wrong. I'm hoping it's gonna be a little warmer and a lot sunnier than the weather predicted. Cause that would just be so nice. I love a good sunshine. Oh, there's Jersey Mike's out here. I've never been to a Jersey Mike. We don't have them where I live. So like, curiosity. Oh my God, I'm gonna go see Big Time Rush in September in Springfield. And I am so excited. That's gonna be such a blast. My sister, I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset and I need to vent to you guys. My sister saw Ludacris at Electric Forest, which is like this huge music festival. And you'll never guess what he sang. He sang Baby, the one with him and Justin Bieber. And I was so upset. My sister is 30 years old. I love her and I mean no disrespect. But that is my, my song. I'm like, that is my song. And she got to listen to it. Oh, I'm just really. <laughs> it's mania. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a little upset. It's not a big deal. Uh, but he's. we're also going to go see him in Springfield. And I'm like, he's not going to play Baby. He was only doing. <sighs> I'm just really upset that I missed that moment. But it's okay. It's okay. It'll come around. It always does. I did just want to tell you, it is that time of the day where music is blasting, microphone is out, and um, a quarter of this is gone. I'm a lot slower than I ever used to be. I did also eat my banana, and then we are literally on this highway for 245 miles, and there's only 252 miles of this drive left. So we are on this road with six miles remaining after. I'm really excited. So it's literally the same way to Great Escape, which is crazy. I'm pretty positive. I might be a big fat liar. I, after a certain point of just driving, I'm like, where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? But it's nice and chill. This is a really nice drive. And like these New York roads are really nice. It's bougie out in here. Oh wow. There's just like rolling mountains everywhere around here. It's a little bit more flat than like where I live, but it's it's really nice. It's really nice. I do I have to pee. So we're on the hunt for a bathroom. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be one soon, but uh, we'll stay on here for a little bit and see what happens and see where things go. There's a mobile area, but it doesn't have any bathrooms. Ah! Ah! That's not fun. We just had bathroom stop number two. There was literally no 
a place other to go, so I went, came to a Walmart. So I just stopped at a Walmart in Amsterdam, New York. So I'm so excited. I think we have like three hours left. I'm gonna set the GPS to get back on the highway and then just chill for a minute and uh, drive on the highway. I don't think we have too, too much longer to go. Probably like three to two, two to three hours. So I'm really excited. <sighs> this has been such a fun drive so far. I love this. Oh, and I'm really comfy in this outfit. So like I'm just having a blast. I love this. I love this skirt. I got a Target in the athletic section and I love it. I want it. I want another one so bad. I feel like I was gonna say something really cool slash like enticing and I don't remember what it is. So story of my life. But uh, yeah, let's get back on the highway. We just hit rest stop number three. Um, I still have like two hours and 50 minutes to go. So officially in the two hour mark, which is very exciting. Um, I am starting to get really, really nauseous, however. Um, as much as I do love driving and I do it very frequently, um, I still get very car sick. When I'm driving, it's a lot better than when other people are driving, but it is still a thing. I do get really bad nausea. So, um, I've kind of just been chilling, kind of listening to music and just drowning it out. I think the worst for me is when like there's no stimulation and like this is like just, I've been on this straight road the last like 100 miles and I'm on it for 200 more. So it's kind of like the worst of the worst right now, but it's a really nice drive. It's really beautiful out here. And uh, we'll make it through, we always do. <laughs> okay guys, we officially have an hour and 59 minutes. So, so excited, so exciting. For literally the last like hour, I've been listening to um, Simple Plans, No Pads, No Helmets, Just Balls album. Cause in October, it's their 15th year anniversary for this album this year, I know, crazy. In October, me and my sister are going to Vegas for this When We Were Young Fest, which is like Simple Plan, My Chemical Romance, Fallout Bear, Boys, Paramore is gonna be there. I am so excited. And I'm like, Simple Plan is like my, I always say it's like my dream band to see because like when I was little, I was obsessed with Simple Plan and I've never gotten the chance to see them. So I am like so excited. So I've just been hyped. I have my little microphone in the car, so uh, we have been karaokeing it up in here. Um, you guys know me, I always bring good vibes. I was just like dancing my little heart out. Everybody loved it. But um, yeah, an hour and 59 minutes. I am so excited. I'm wicked. I am just so excited to see even what like the parking lot looks like. You know, I'm really, I wanna see like the location, like where it is. By the park map, it looks really big. It looked huge. I did bring my bathing suit. I don't know if I'm gonna go swimming. It seems like it might be a little too chilly, which might make it a great excuse to come back here because I have literally never been to this park, which makes me so, so excited because I can literally figure out all the little details. We're like Six Flags Great Adventure. I don't go there a ton, but I go like once or twice a year. So I do like know the layout, like I have no idea where I'm going here. And that is so exciting. I'm so excited. I love to get lost. Like in a park like that, I'm like, I'll, I'll find my way, you know? <sighs> I'm so excited. Thank you for coming on this drive with me. I hope you guys are having a great time because I am having such an amazing time. Just like being here, I feel a lot better. I don't feel as long as anyway. But I'm having like a great time just being here and being present. I think that's really important. And I think sometimes we lose that, you know? In some spots, it's been like rainy. In others, it's just been cloudy. And in some, it's been sunny. I'm really hoping it's gonna be really sunny. Said it was gonna be cloudy according to the weather. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be really, really sunny. We are an hour halfway. We're in a little bit of a rainy spot right now. But one thing I've noticed about this drive is sometimes it's really rainy and cloudy and other times it's really sunny. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be great. It'll be great. I've been checking the weather the last two days like a crazy person. And it's, it's gonna be nice all day. Today's the only day it's not raining. 
yesterday it rained and tomorrow it's gonna rain. So like I was like, it's perfect I'm going today. It all it all works out, it all makes sense. Ugh. Only an hour and a half. I'm really excited. That's the distance from my house to my six flags. So super exciting. Super exciting. We're gonna have such a blast. I'm wicked. I'm so excited to just get out of the car and be done in the car for a little bit, you know? Um, okay. A, there's 27 minutes left of the drive, which is amazing. I'm so happy. And it stopped raining, which is great. B, I just saw a sign for Niagara Falls saying it was 56 miles away. Is it just me? I did not realize Canada was that close. I just, I don't know. I guess I just didn't. And that makes me want, I want to get my passport so bad. Because there's now a Six Flags in Montreal. And I, I need to go. Also, if it's like this close. The Montreal one is closer than the Six Flags. I just can't go because I don't currently own a passport. I've never had a passport. Um, so this year, I'm going to get a passport. That's my goal for myself. I was like, Niagara Falls? I'm gonna Google it and be like, can I get into Niagara Falls without a passport? I probably can't. My parents tell me this story all the time. So they went to hunt honeymoon at Niagara Falls is where they went. Um, and they didn't have a passport and they were lucky enough where like they let them in. It was like 20 years ago, but they let them in and then let them come back, no problem. Like maybe I can talk my way out of it. Probably not. Maybe like, uh, we don't believe you. I don't know. I would, I really wanna go to Canada this year. I very much do. And like my dream is to go to Italy. I wanna go to Italy so bad. My last name is Bologna. So my family comes from Italy, comes from Bologna, Italy. I'm like fifth generation Italian American, but the more we know, but I'm so excited. I literally have like 25 minutes and then we'll be there. I was really nervous because I was in a spot where it was raining for like 10 minutes and that was like 15 minutes ago so I was like I was like dang is it just gonna like be pouring because I don't mind it raining a little later in the day but like I just want to get there and like not have rain for like a little you know what I mean I just want to it can wait a little bit I'm so, I'm so excited I'm so excited uh, my yerba mate is almost gone. I've been kind of taking it slow because it's better for me. Slow and steady. Okay, we are seven minutes away. There's a Tim Hortons. I don't really know what a Tim Hortons is. I think it's like a coffee shop that everybody loves. Everybody loves Tim Hortons, I've heard. Um, it's also massively sunny now, so I am so excited. Um, this is in a really beautiful area. Like, it's a lot of, like, farmland and just, like, acres and acres, you know? Like, look at there's a school with, like, a nice park. It's nice. I am, I am so excited. So we're in Darien Lake, New York, which is, uh, I think it's, like, 30 miles away from Buffalo. So depending uh, on how I'm feeling later, we might go to the stadium, but I don't know how far away it is, so maybe... Um, I just feel like that would make my dad very jealous, so I feel like we should do that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm beyond excited. I just don't even know how to put into words how excited I am. I also have my wiggly worm here. I needed a little, like, fixation. I was, I've been karaoke for like two hours. I'm surprised I still have a voice, honestly. I'm very impressed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're two minutes away. And I can see one of the fuck one of the hills for their Superman ride. I think it's called Superman Ride of Steel here. Oh my god. That was very dangerous to me. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my god. They have a hotel and a campground here on site, which is really cool. I didn't know that. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry. This guy behind me or hated me earlier. Oh my god. I love it when the parks are just so close to the road that you can like oh touch it. <laughs> oh my god. 
I am so beyond excited. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, we are here, so I'm gonna end this episode here. I love you all so much. If you like this video, please leave a like, and I will see you all tomorrow if you wanna see me in the park. Bye.